first of all, the both of you look very pretty. I, I know that I can say that to you, I can say that to you. And that kind of leads the way into today's Big Deal. Yeah! So today's Big Deal is basically about gender rules. Mm. Especially in today, you know, everything's becoming uh, very politically correct. Feminism is very influential in the way that we treat each other and the way that we look at women and all that stuff. Um, but a lot of the traditional gender roles and the way that women and men interact romantically, uh, some of it is being affected. Um, <laughs> how and so? so, yeah. How so? Well, we're gonna get into that. So the first thing that I wanna do is I want to open it up first to the person who is the girly person on our set. Thank you. Dennis, go ahead and give the first. <laughs> I was wondering who you were gonna go to. What do you think? I mean, look, as a gay man, yes. who I guess when, when you're a gay man or a gay woman, you're just maybe outside of the man-woman romantic yeah. thing, although a lot of, you know, lesbian feminists, and my sister's one, uh -huh. all have a lot of comments on, oh, you know, right. women and men and how they should interact, and right. sometimes I'm like, but you're not even in a relationship with a man. How do <laughs> well, you feel? You. What, what's your idea about the way women and men are relating to each other these days? You know, it's so confusing for me, especially because sometimes I don't know whether I should even open up a door for a woman. Because I'm like, is that really my role? I feel like when men open up a door for women, it's because, you know, they're trying to be a gentleman. Right. They're trying to court a woman. Right. And I'm not really trying to court them. So if we are sort of on the same level to a certain mm. extent and there's no sexual tension there, then do I really need to open the door for her? I would Vivian, have... the woman? I would have to disagree on that because I have a lot of gay friends. Actually, okay. my closest friends, I consider my siblings, mm. are gay. And I do have to say they always let me in first. They mm. always open the door for me. They're always like, so they treat me better than some boyfriends. But Vivian, it's crazy and they're gay gay. Yeah, but let me ask mm. you a but question on that. There's, I have a lot of feminist friends who would say that it's sexist. And by the way, feminist friends, including male feminists, who say, what? oh, it's sexist to open the door for a woman because why should gender have you know, anything to do with it. Either open the door up for everybody or don't up, open the door for all, at all. I believe in chivalry no matter what. Right. As a woman, how do you feel about that? Do you think that chivalry is dead and should it be dead? I think it's dying. I don't mm -hmm. think it's fully dead. Um, where I come from in Mexico, men tend to be very gen like gentlemen mm -hmm. to you. So, of course, when I came to the U.S., it was a bit of a shock. I also spent time in Europe, in mm. Spain, in Germany. People totally forgot about that already. And, really? And, yeah. And they think, you know, that there's girls there. Like, for example, and I've noticed in Europe especially, um, in the U.S., not so much in, in Latin America, that, you know, if the guy opens the door, they'll be like, I can do it myself. Wow. Of course. I mean, we have two hands. I mean, yeah, <laughs> we can open it. But it's not about if you can or cannot do something. It's about letting other people do something nice for you. So what do you well, think yeah. about feminism today? And you know, a lot, the thing about feminism is a lot of, a lot of feminism is a, a, an argument between women, between different opinions among women. What's your idea of feminism? Well, in my personal experience, I think all extremes are bad. Mm -hmm. I, am, I don't consider myself a feminist. I do not consider myself una machista tampoco. Mm -hmm. okay. I do believe in balance. I do believe in... Um, I, you cannot categorize things black or white. I mean, there's always, as you say, and here I have to agree with you, the gray area. Mm -hmm. And this is where, I mean, I do believe in equality. If we're gonna do the same job, we should be compensated equally. Mm -hmm. I mean, Absolutely. that's, But yeah. that's already, a, but, but hold on. There, that's one of the things that drives me crazy. There's, there, I, I, I understand feminism, but feminism is one of these things that is going completely in challenge these days. It's going to okay. be Because the there's side. already a law that says you get paid equally for, or is it, or my, in my ear it says, is it finally being heard? No, it's being way too heard. <laughs> there's already a law that says you gotta be paid equal for equal work. That number, 77 to 100, is all the money that all women make versus all the money the, the, uh, that, that men make. But men and women work different jobs. And by the way, single women make 94% of what a man makes because when you have a baby, it kind of affects your productivity at the workplace. And I know that a lot okay. of people are going, Whoa, but yes. Ugh. Let me take Ugh. out my calculator and well, figure you know this what? mathematical because you, equation. Sorry, because you don't have a uterus, you can't have a baby. I know <laughs> I can. So the only reason we can, we, the only, we had this hashtag, our turn, the only way we're gonna have real equality is when men start having babies, but we can't. It's not about equality per se, it's about just understanding roles because okay. we are different mm. and we shouldn't make this a war between 
one sex and the other, and it shouldn't Feminists be about competing. It that way. We it should, should just be... have sex. <laughs> yeah, but like people compete, like women can do this and we can do that. Of course we can do a lot of things. Mm. I mean, but our brains are wired differently too. Right. It's not only physiological, I think it's something, seriously, like we, we think differently, we yeah. feel differently, okay. mm -hmm. and we should complement each other and now as we're a gonna, team. Before we get to a, another point of view that I want to bring out, I agree with you, and it's that, look, some women are wired like men, and some men are wired like women, and that's that gray area. Yeah. But there are women... There's a spectrum. There is a spectrum. It, it, there's a Kinsey scale, even when it comes to sexuality. Exactly. I'm in touch with my feminine side. Sometimes I'm around my machista <laughs> friends, and I'm like, I don't feel that way. <laughs> I'm in touch with the woman's intuition that I put... Sometimes I act like a man and I don't want to have to apologize for it as right. long as I'm treating women with respect. Exactly. And by the way, someone who's going to give us the millennial point of view on gender roles, get out here! Brutal. Get out here! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that was there. a tornado entrance. There we go. There we go. Wow. We're back. How wow. has gender roles affected your life and how are you trying to reinvent them? Oh, wow. Okay, big question. I was listening to a lot of what you said. I agree with a lot of what each of you said. I think you all brought up valid points and the whole point of kind of the gender movement argument now is the fluidity of it. I think it's important to stay in a constant state of change. And right. as society changes, as we adapt mm -hmm. to new circumstances, uh, we change the way we think about things. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I, you know, I align most with what you were saying. I have my feminine side. I'm metrosexual. Uh, I, get, I get hit on by That's dudes. That's still 2010. And <laughs> That's still <laughs> so it's 2010. <laughs> no, but I get hit on by guys and right. girls. And that doesn't bother me. Well, you get hit on by Dennis and girls. <laughs> <laughs> Every day, every night. Um, but I think, you know, I've never had a problem with that. And uh, I think sexuality is the most fluid possible thing. I think men are handsome. I'm not physically attracted to them. Right. But I think men are handsome. Uh, I, sometimes I think girls are great looking, but right. I wouldn't want to have sex with them. Right. There's yeah. all types of ways to define sexuality, gender, roles. So I think my role is to stay true to myself and, exactly. and do my best uh, not to offend anyone. Well, look, before, well, here, the last, you know, I agree with everything you said except the last part. Yeah. You, I think that you have to try not to offend people, but there comes a, a time where you don't have to try so hard. No, exactly. Because I think that us in a society, we're becoming too easily offended. Exactly. And you know what? If I, and if I open the door, I'm going to give you the butt after. If I open the door for a woman, <laughs> if I open the door for a woman, it's not because I don't think you can open the door. It's because I'm trying to be polite. And you know what? I open the door up for men, too. That's true. You mean